presidential election. But uh, now we're joined by Kennedy Murathi, who is joining us from the KICC, where Azimio has set up a media briefing center. Uh, Kennedy, we saw some allegations in the Daily Nation today uh, that Azimio claims that uh, it, the central Kenya presidential vote was not kosher. Uh, has there been any such communication from where you stand? And what developments are there? Well, a very good morning to you. With regards to that particular question that you have asked, Olive, I cannot comment on it because this is just the time that some of these members of parliament are starting to arrive here at the Kenya International Conference Center, where we do understand that they were called by the Azimio one Kenya Echelons, the top Echelon, where they are being called probably to review their performance in these elections. And some of them have been coming in. The red carpet that was here uh, the day before yesterday, and this is day four since we came here, is already here. And some members of parliament have started arriving. Until now, I have counted seven members of parliament. These are some who have retained their seats and some who have come in as newcomers. And one of them is uh, Moshimiwa Arati. And I also see another, another one who has just come in, probably as they go in. And probably, Moshimiwa, how are you? And uh, what are you doing here? I see you coming in in numbers. Mm. And actually even wearing campaign regalia. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Kenny. I think we, uh, we have come in solidarity. And of course, we, we are expecting that the... The, the 50 president is going to be announced, I think, tomorrow. So we are just coming to put the house in order as it's being announced so that we proceed to welcome him as the 50 president of this republic. So did you receive a message? Did you receive a message that asked you to come here to the KICC? Yes, we did. We did get a message from... We, already, we have formed our group. So from the, our group, we said that we come here in solidarity. Oh, you have already formed a WhatsApp oh, group? We have our group. Yeah. Yeah, as a new group of elected leaders, members of parliament on a new ticket who have won, we are all here. And how many are you, uh, by your estimation? Yeah, almost, uh, 190, around 190. We are many. We got it the day. We are 190 members so far. So, I see a new member of parliament uh, who's just won. What constituency have you won? I have seen you work with uh, Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya for the longest time. And this time round, did you throw your heart into the race and won? Yes, uh, I won the parliamentary seat for Lugari. Uh, I'm the uh, new member of uh, National Assembly elect uh, Lugari constituency on ODM ticket. So were you called here as members of parliament and what was the message for you to come here or have you just come voluntarily? No, we, we have a formal meeting uh, as members of the Azimio family. We are starting to caucus to look into the future. We also want to look at uh, um, preparations for uh, uh, the presidential uh, re re result declaration because we know we've won. Okay. Yes. Well, Olive, so those are some of the sentiments that are coming in. I also see another member of parliament, uh, the member of parliament for Sirisia, that is Waluke, who has retained his seat on a Jubilee ticket. Mushimiwa, did all of you, were you asked to come in in these jackets or even the regalia? Yeah. This is uh, at, uh, for, for a CBO. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There's no problem. What was the message that you received that called you for this particular meeting? No, we haven't been told any message, but we were just told to report here at KICC, uh, all of us. I don't know for what reason, but we will be told, I think, when we are here. Is it true that uh, those mem the politicians who have won on the Azimio One Kenya team have already formed a WhatsApp group, and that is the main form of communication? I don't know, because I have not seen that. I'm not aware. Okay. Yeah. So probably what sentiments do you expect will be coming from this particular meeting as we see that already you are arriving in droves? Uh, I can't tell at, at the moment uh, until when I'm told is when I will it will crack my mind. Is when I will tell, I know what, uh, what reason they have called us for. Uh, otherwise I cannot say why we are here but uh, we were told, uh, I was told even by my count commission that I'm supposed to report here in the night and that's why i've come okay yeah 
Well, uh, those are some of the sentiments that are coming in. As he says that, yes, he does not know why he is here, but he was asked even by the county commissioner to come here, and that is a message that came in last night. But if my camera person, Paul Basweti, will show this side, there are those who continue to arrive. I can see the new elected uh, senator for CIA, Dr. Oburu Odinga, who's just come in. Probably we'll get a word from him as uh, this place continues to be a bit busy as they continue to usher in uh, leaders. And uh, Dr. good morning. How are you? How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. We see that you have arrived here. Did you also receive the message to come here or you've come in voluntarily? To receive the message? <laughs> Was there a message that asked all uh, yeah. members of parliament all to right. come here or uh, yes. what is it? We cannot come voluntarily. We come because we are invited. Yes. yes. Because we have won. Yes, it's because we have won. President. All those who have won have been come. invited. Yeah. So what is, what is the likely messaging that is going to come from this particular gathering that is, I can see uh, things are happening. No, I don't well, know don't what message, cry, because, yeah, because uh, eh? you know, the people who have invited us are the ones who are going to inform us yeah. why they have invited us. Yes. We have yeah. seen some press reports that probably say President Uhuru Kenyatta is likely to grace this meeting. Is it a fact? No, have you heard I so? don't know. I have not heard that. That is news to me. But more so, we are interested yeah. with the 50 president whom we are going to say in any time. That's where we are here, Bana. We can't come here when you, yeah. we are the winners. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> how are you? And uh, what are your expectations of today? Expectation is we are here because we actually were asked to come. We believe that uh, we are winning. And we are here to wait for the announcement we made. Okay. And we believe that our candidate has done well. The race has been very close. We are asking our people, our voters in the village and the ones in the other areas of this country to be peaceful and make sure that uh, we participate in this exercise democratically and make sure that we get the best candidate. Thank you. Thank probably you, uh, you would tell us your name, you're a new face. Have you probably gone through the elections and have you won or are you part of this team? Uh, my name is Clive Kisairo. I'm the MP elect, Kitutu Masaba. Ah, Kitutu Masaba. Yes. Oh, uh, Today is a new experience. Uh, it's your first time probably in Parliament and you're going to be in a meeting like this. What are some of the expectations that you will have for such a meeting? Uh, firstly, I just got an invite, like uh, all my colleagues have said. So we are here. Uh, we don't know the exact message on the reasons we are called. But as they have said, we all believe our candidate, our presidential candidate has won. So we are here and we expect uh, good news. Uh, all we are saying is we expect uh, Kenyans to remain peaceful. They conducted the elections uh, peacefully and uh, they've so far, as Kenyans, we've conducted ourselves maturely and this should continue irrespective of uh, what uh, comes out here. Well, uh, very good and welcome to Nairobi, Mr. Clive. Uh, Moshimiwa, this is your second term and you are among the first people to arrive here today. What are some of the expectations that you have of this meeting? Uh, First of all, uh, um, I come here very excited because in Kakamega we have won 11 seats as, as Mio. So my expectations are that we are just going to take stock together. And um, I, I just want to meet my party leader because in Kakamega he did very well. And the way things are going, we know he's going to be the fifth president. So I'm happy that we are going to meet with him today and consult. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Miradi, good morning. Good morning, sir. Welcome back. Congratulations on your second term. Thank you. What do you make of this meeting today? This meeting, we're going to meet our fifth president, uh, Honorable Raila Malodinga, whom we have fought for, and for him to address us and update us on his status and how we are going to inaugurate him as the fifth president after the, the 14 days. Well, yes. Well, thank you. Then I see uh, journalist and also now three-time member of parliament. And how is the feeling right now that you have been elected and you're back in Nairobi and expectations of this meeting? Thank you very much, Ken. Um, for me, I'm, I'm very happy and I thank the people of Samburu West constituency because my re-election is an affirmation that I, I, I served them well and I worked for them. And, uh, and, it, and so they have reaffirmed it by re-electing me back and showing confidence in my leadership.
You, you, you've also been asked to come and take stock of what has happened this far. What are your expectations or in your personal view, how have you seen it this far until this time? What I'm really, really happy, of course this election had many surprises, but I'm very happy uh, concerning women leadership. We have seen uh, big strides. Uh, uh, for example, we were 22 members of parliament. So far, 17 of us retaining our seats means that Kenyans actually have a confidence in, in women leadership and we have served them well. We Last time, the number of governors, of course, it's shot up to seven, you know, the senators. So I'm very excited, very, very excited in, in, in the manner that that Kenyans have embraced women leadership and the breaking of many stereotypes in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in our country that we are now electing women. You know, when you look at Nakuru, you know, yeah. the entire how it looks, when you look at... Um, at areas like Machakos, where the, the governor, the senator, that was something which was unimaginable at some point. So I'm very, very elated and happy about it. Somebody will say now the boy child is under trouble <laughs> <laughs> now that you, you've increased the numbers. You can be sure with women leadership, we are an all-inclusive uh, leadership and uh, we will take care of both our girls and boys. Thank you very much, Ken. <laughs> Thank you very much. There are those who are saying that the boy child is now in trouble. Actually, there are counties that have elected women and given that sense of approval but back to what we are doing here today is that there is that insistence that they do not know what they have been called for but the message that we received in the media houses has painted the picture of a meeting of coming to take stock of how they have performed in this particular election and in the last uh, 15 minutes the activity was not as much as it is right here now but the activity continues to grow as they do believe that uh, they will be addressed by the leadership of the Azimio One Kenya and we do not know neither can we confirm whether President Uhuru Kenyatta is going to be part of this particular meeting as it has been reported in sections of the media as we do know that he is still president and every time President Uhuru Kenyatta goes into a function and I have covered in uh, I have covered him enough is that the security is beefed up more than it is here so uh, right now Olive and uh, Dennis, I cannot confirm that President Uhuru Kenyatta is one of those people that might come here. And if he does, we will be here to get that particular information. But uh, they are being ushered in into that room that we showed you the, about three days ago, where there is a red carpet that has been placed there for them. And they are walking into that room. Some of them are catching up because they did not see each other during the whole of the campaign period. You can imagine some of them who have been re-elected are happy that they have done so because Olive, in this particular parliament that I have covered for quite some time is that almost 70% of the members of parliament who come in do not survive to make for the second term. So some of them are quite happy. Others are related that their colleagues have either gone up the food chain to become governors and all. Like uh, Naisula Lesuda was telling us that there are those women leaders that have gone up to get positions in gubernatorial positions like in uh, uh, Senator Kiheka has now become the governor for Nakuru. There is also uh, there is also Cecil Mbarire who's become the governor for Embu. There is also Homa Bay where we have Gladys Wanga, who is now governor of Vinyandeti, who is also governor for Machakos. So they are elated that they have increased the numbers from three, where they were in the far in 2017, between 2017 and 2022. And I also see Mwishmiwa Tandi. How are you, Mwishmiwa? And congratulations on uh, retaining your seat. But how is it? And uh, you must have come a long way to be in Nairobi this early. Yeah, I, I've been in Nairobi since yesterday. Mm -hmm. Immediately we were declared as elected MP, MP, MP I, I came to Nairobi, I was at Bomas yesterday, the old day, and today we have a consultation meeting as lead, new leaders of the Azimio team. Yes. yes. Well, I see that this time round there is a huge number of you who have uh, probably even retained their seats, and uh, it's, it's like a meeting of old friends. How does it feel for you? It, it, it feels good, but we are still not yet there because, as you are aware, our presidential candidate... Barbara Ilamulu Odinga has not been announced as the president, as the new president. So we, are, we, have, we have not even celebrated anything. We have not even had whiskey. We have not even had a, a wine. Because we have to see that Baba is declared the president of the Republic of Kenya. And we are adding IBC chair, whatever it is, that Baba has already won. And we have the information. We have the data. There is no need to waste more time.
Baba should be declared the president immediately. Well, uh, that one will leave at the purview of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. We don't know that he's an interested party, so he will speak about it. And it's not just the members of parliament. And members of parliament all live here, I mean those in the National Assembly and those in the Senate. I can see a governor coming in here, the governor for Marsavit. And good morning, uh, Mushmira, and congratulations. I see that you're up and early here in Nairobi. Is there a message that invited you to this meeting? And probably, what are your expectations? of this well uh, I just got a message that uh, elected leaders are required to be here and, and so uh, I will wait to hear what the message is about I can't speculate yeah yeah but probably what are your expectations now that we know there are those who want to take stock of how the election was and probably the numbers that you have gotten this far as the Azimio one Kenya family well, uh, I think uh, it could... And how would you probably even rate your performance? Well, my performance, I, I, I rate myself. Uh, uh, excellent. Because um, the reason of uh, competition is to win, and I won. And I want to thank uh, my people, uh, great people of Marsabit, for giving me a chance for a second time. I'm very grateful indeed. Um, it's a sense of uh, accomplishment, a sense of uh, confidence in my leadership, and it gives me an opportunity to tackle the challenges that I had, pending assignments in the county. So this is a God-given opportunity. But uh, for this other one, I think it's uh, probably to take stock of uh, how we fared and uh, probably the prevailing situation in the country. Thank you yeah. very much and welcome. Yeah. Well, I can also see other members of parliament that are also coming in. And we have Mule here. And WIPA has performed. What would, you, what would, you, what would be your rating of WIPA's performance in Ukambani? Uh, thank you very much, Muredi. First and foremost, I want to thank uh, our fraternity of the WIPA group in the entire country. And the performance in Ukambani was excellent. I can assure you that uh, they came man to man, woman to woman, and they voted uh, big time for Honorable Raila Amalo Odinga. Uh, for the first time, I've never seen such a turnout. We are talking of a turnout which is almost uh, 80% uh, uh, voting uh, in one pattern. And I believe that is the unity of the community which has been created by Dr. Uh, Stephen Kalonzo Musioka and his calmness and whatever. You won't believe there was no chaos in Ukambani. There was no bugudha in Ukambani. And uh, basically the, the, the exercise went uh, very well, I uh, can assure you. And I believe that uh, that is the way we want communities to live. When communities have uh, leadership which are solid, I believe they are given direction. Uh, Kwa Kikamba, there is a saying which says when they lack a leader, they disappear to the mud uh, and at the end of the day they cannot get clean water. Uh, so we are looking forward uh, for uh, a good leadership uh, this time round and uh, development to our people. I believe that uh, Azimio once uh, wins this uh, race at uh, presidential level, we'll be in a position to deliver a lot of uh, projects which had stalled uh, within the region. And, to, and uh, is Kalonzo coming for this meeting? Uh, actually, he's the one chairing this meeting. You are forgetting is the dissident uh, prime minister of the country uh, coming. So basically, uh, what does that mean? It means that uh, the prime minister uh, under this uh, Azimua coalition, he'll be the head of the government. He'll be the person to coordinate all, uh, all the works of government. He'll be the person in charge of running today of the government. Uh, we don't want to stress Baba. Baba is, is a ceremonial and firm president who has brought the uh, country together. And I believe uh, Honorable Stephen Kalonza will be coming. Uh, I believe Honorable Mother Karua will be joining us as the vice president. 
And uh, I believe that uh, we, we are coming here to strategize on how to uh, uh, move the country forward as quickly as possible and make sure that we deal with uh, pressing issues uh, to Monaiji, that is uh, the issue of food, the issue of uh, infrastructure, the issues of debt in the country, the issues of education. So there are so many things we need to discuss. And for us, we have already uh, 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 set our mind clear that uh, we are the next government. Within, within the uh, the next five years. And I want to thank the people of Matungulu for electing me again for the fourth time uh, as their member of parliament. And I want to promise them we will deliver every uh, promise we made during the campaign. The last, the last thing is that I want to thank Kenyans for remaining calm. And I want to urge them to continue remaining calm as we verify all the Form 34 as in the country, so that whoever is declared a winner is not declared a winner by ESA. He is declared a winner under the Constitution, under the uh, Election Act, under the IBC verifiable trusted mechanism of Form 34A, because that forms the basis of this election. Election uh, uh, is done at a polling station and Form 34A is generated from that polling station where results are announced and given to the people, then they move to the tally center at the constituents. And I believe that is what uh, Kenyans, they need to understand because if we rush this thing, we we'll, can make a mistake and we don't to blunder this time around. Let Chepukati and IBC do proper verification of all the forms from the 46 plus polling station in the country and give Kenyans the right winner, the correct winner, and Kenyans remain firm, remain uh, you, sober, and uh, have a peaceful day. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much, also, so that we can get time to speak tomorrow. And uh, probably uh, on this other side, Mushmua, good morning, and uh, how are you? You came in early. Did you make it for your election? Yes, yes. And how was it, and uh, probably what are your expectations of this particular meeting? Um, the member of parliament elect now for Lam West. I'm serving now my second term and a Jubilee ticket. And uh, I am so grateful for the Lamu people, people of Lamu West constituency, and uh, more so in Lamu County for electing me and also believing in my leadership. And it is my hope that in the next five years, God willing, we should be able to move to a higher level. And uh, I should be able to unite the constituency. I should be able to do more development, push for more more, 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 more laws that are beneficial to our people. And uh, for this meeting, we are, we are here, we've been called, so that we can deliberate on various issues, and we are, we are standing by our candidate, and we are in support of Azimio. Thank you very much. Well, uh, let us go through this side where they are being kept and uh, probably as they wait for the party leader, we have seen only different accounts of what would probably be happening as everybody now says that yes, they were asked to come here and they are heeding to that particular call of coming to join the leadership. Uh, Matungulu, member of parliament elect uh, Mule, says that they will be expecting that there's a probability that Kalonzo Musioka and Mother Karua will be chairing this particular meeting well. It is something that we can only wait to see. Remember that they have said that uh, there is that push that uh, they do not want to take too much time for Raila Odinga, whom they say yeah, let him concentrate on what is happening at the presidential level, and they are expecting that these results will be coming in. But this is the setup as we showed the other day, and they are coming in, and you could see they are already seated down as they continue to talk to other people as they also uh, reminisce on what has happened and the campaign period and all of that. I can also see Ambassador Sunkuli who's made a comeback and all that. So we'll be here all day. We'll be expecting to hear what is it that they're being told as the leadership and uh, what marching orders will they be given. And it is very interesting that to, just to hear what kind of messaging will be coming from this particular uh, meeting that they will be having that uh, had been said will start at around 10 o'clock to take stock of how they have performed in these recent elections. Olive. All right, thank you for that update, Kennedy Murethi. Kennedy Murethi coming to us from the Kenyatta International Convention Center, where Azimio has set up their media briefing center and apparently a reception for the 